I feel lucky because I've always known that I wanted to do this. I mean, most people don't know what they want to be until they're grown up, right? My mom told me that at age one, I would draw things that I saw and that she could always recognize what they were. Apparently spiders were my thing back then. I'm a fan of everyone from Dr. Seuss to Matisse, Emily Carr, Diego Rivera. Remember as a kid watching cartoons, I was always observing the backgrounds and the lines and the colors. And I really loved the old Warner Brothers cartoons. Those artists, the animators Fritz Frelling and Chuck Jones, um, they were a big part of my childhood. And I realize now how much those cartoons have actually influenced me. We have a closely knit family, but I recall wanting to escape when all the relatives came over at once. We're an Irish family, so things got pretty lively and loud. I used to instigate fights with my younger brother so that I could purposely be sent to my room. I got to be alone and quietly make my art undisturbed. And I'm not an introvert, but that time to recharge uh, is essential for me. My parents had three kids and had moved from England and started a new life in Canada. And there was a period of time where my dad didn't have any work. I got a full-time job as a legal assistant and then I went and studied art in college at night. I tried fashion design, jewelry making, um, I was looking for something else so I continued to study and eventually my happy medium, painting, I think it found me. The same way music sets the mood for a lot of people, color really sets the mood for me. Vibrant colors weirdly make me salivate. For example, when I look at magenta, I will associate it with food of that color that I really like, maybe raspberries or something, and that kind of sets my brain into salivation mode. I can't really explain it, but this is what happens for me. I really like black outlines. Every once in a while I go away from it, but I always go back to it. I get such satisfaction from outlining. I think it's a combination of my personality and my love of church windows, strangely enough. I always like how the cloisonne effect of the black lead against the colored glass makes it pop. Well, people have described my work as naive, fauvist, cartoonish, illustrative, graphic, funky, but I like to think of it as a whimsical medley of all of the art and all of the pop culture that's influenced me in my lifetime. I want to brighten up people's mood and living space, so I want my art to be an antidote. I want to make people smile, perhaps even bring out the little kids.